The second one on the packet? Yeah, the second one on the packet. So, can you see me with no light? Might be better. No. <laughs> Should we turn the light on? <laughs> it, no, it, it comes out fine. You're okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, so they're telling me that A is 2, negative 2, 1, B is 2, 6, 3, and C is P, P, P plus 1. Are we okay so far? Find the angle between the directions of A and B. What does that mean? Well, these are ones that start from zero and work their way out. Okay. So we're finding the angle between. So how do we go about finding the angle between? The dot product. Right. Good. So it's cosine theta is equal to A dot B over the length of A, length of B. Okay. I'll let you play with that for a moment. plus negative 2 times 6 plus 1 times 3 over, did you guys find your lengths? Not yet. Not yet. I'll let you try that. Come on up, Elvis. That's what people find out, like, how school people start finding. How school So what do you do to find the length of A and the times take the length of B? Each of the numbers, oh, um, square two, square negative two, square one, add them up, and then take the square root of it. Oh, and then multiply that by uh, B. Uh huh. Same so, yeah. two times six times three, square root of that. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. Cosine negative one on the other side of the number, the fraction. Yeah. Other side of the fraction? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is the negative one going outside of it? Inside, right there. And then put parentheses yeah. around 11 over 21. Yeah. I thought I had negative five. Uh, what? Okay, wait. Tell me what I did. Okay. So you, you did. You did 2 times 2 is 4, that's negative 12 yeah, so plus 3, four so 4 minus 12 is negative 8 plus oh, 3. Oh, negative yeah. 8. Okay. Yeah. 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 There you go. That was right. easy fix. That's cool. Easy fix. What'd you get? Negative, negative 5. Negative 5. All right. So what's the fraction of negative 5 over 21? Negative 0.23. So cosine negative 1 equals cosine negative 1. Yeah. Yeah. Parenthesis of zero point two two three eight. Can't you just put the fraction in there? Like it'll work then too. I think so. And then what's theta? One hundred three point four. One hundred three point. Okay. Point what? Seven. Seven. So what do you think? Not bad. You're close. Close. 
What is it we need to do to be able to show that it's perpendicular? Yeah. Show that dot product, product is, is zero, right? So for something to have, for something to be, thank you, Clea. So for something to be um, zero, our dot product of B and C has to show up to be zero. So that's an easy way to try to figure out what the values of P are. So we're going to do 2 times P plus 6 times P plus 3 times P plus 1 equals 0. Any questions on how I threw that up there? I took the top times the top plus the middle times the middle plus the bottom times the bottom. Why? Equal zero. Why? It has to equal zero since it's perpendicular. No. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So you're proving perpendicular, so you prove dot product is zero. Yes? What if you're proving whether or not they're parallel? parallel the only difference, the only thing you're going to do for parallel is to show that you have an equal ratio of multiplication all the way across. And that was with, like what you, with you did mm -hmm. for yes. that other problem. Yes. Cool. So, what do we get? Here, I see 8P plus 3P plus 3 is 0. Mm -hmm. What are common mistakes people could easily make for this? That they didn't distribute the 3. Oh, Forget yeah. it that you need to distribute mm -hmm. that. I mean, that's just a simple mistake that could be easily fixed. I have a question. Yeah. Why didn't you put that other 3P with yeah. the 8P? I just was showing. I actually I was, was showing my work. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? How that works. So 11P plus 3 is 0. And 11P equals negative 3. Yeah. It doesn't usually happen, right? Mm -hmm. And then divide. Yeah. Negative 3, 11. <laughs> what do you think? That's not bad. It's and really not bad. With Ian? So like they get zero, can you just go like that to show? Does that make sense? Does it ask for the value of P or does it ask for the value of value? Find the value of P. No, yeah. yeah. No, right. And if you actually needed to find the value of C, you can plug it out here. Okay.